Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create a simple RAG agent using a vector database where you can upload your documents into a vector database and automatically update the database as you make changes. So I'm just going to go straight into FlowEyes and go to localhost 3000, and then we are going to go to agent flows and create a new agent flow. So I'm going to just create a simple RAG chatbot. Now, we're only going to add one element, which is the agent node, and then connect the start node to this. So like I said, we need just one node, which is the agent node, and we just want to basically understand how the document stores work and how you can update your database from FlowEyes. So basically, we have two nodes here, the start node and the agent node. This is just a simple chatbot. Let's configure the agent. For the model, we'll select Chat Google Generative AI. Under Parameters, select the credential as Google Generative AI, and then the model name, Gemini-2.0-Flash. Once we are done with this, we are going to add a system message. So under Role, select System. For the content, we are going to use this. Let me expand this so you can see. You are a helpful assistant using provided context. Answer the user's question to the best of your ability using the resources provided. If there's nothing in the context relevant to the question, just say, hmm, I'm not sure. Don't try to make up an answer. Then save that. Now for the tools, we don't really need any tools for this setup, but we're going to add a document store here. So we're going to add the document store with a name and description. Now I'll open another FlowEyes tab and go to document stores. I'm going to add a new document store. Let's say I want to add a new document store with the name Artificial Intelligence. You can add a description if you want. It's optional, and then click Add. Once it's added, we open the document store we just created, and we add a document loader. For the document loader, we have different types, and we could use SerpAPI for web search. This is used for scraping information from websites. Next, we select our credential. Then the query we'll use is Artificial Intelligence in 2025. For metadata, let's just add an item, maybe Project, and then name it AI Trends in 2025. So with this configuration, you need a SERP API key. To do this, just go to the SERP API website. Once you log into the dashboard, under your account, select API key, and then you can copy the key head back to FlowEyes and use it to create the credential. Next thing we'll do is click Preview Chunks. This lets you see how your data will be split into smaller pieces. You see we have eight chunks. Now we can go ahead and click Process. Afterwards, we refresh, and you can see we have the chunks here. So under Options here, we go to Upsert Chunks. I'm going to select our embeddings. We want to use Cohere Embeddings. I'm going to connect the credential, select the model name, and we are going to select Multilingual 3.0. Note the dimensions, which is 1024. Because when you are selecting your vector store, you have to match the dimensions with the dimensions of the embeddings. So I'll select Pinecone as the vector store. You can create a Pinecone database easily by going to Pinecone website. When creating an index, we have several options to choose from. I'm going to create a new index called FlowEyes using LlamaText Embed V2. You see the dimension is 1024, which is the same as the Cohere embedding in FlowEase. Then we click Create Index. After this is completed, you see the categories, Browser, Metrics, and Namespace. Under Namespace, we have Default. Under FlowEyes here, you go to Connect Credential. I already have the credential here, but basically the credential just needs your API key. Under the Pinecone dashboard, you go to API Keys, create a new API key, copy it, and then paste your API key and save. Now for the index, we created FlowEyes. So if you go back here to the database, you can see that we created a new index called FlowEyes. We can name the namespace also FlowEyes if you want, or leave it as default. One important thing is to select your record manager. We're going to use SQLite Record Manager. This is so that FlowEyes is able to remember the records that you have already uploaded. We'll make the task name Upsertion Records. Under Namespace, we type New Records. And under Cleanup Type, you have three options here. None, Incremental, and Full. We're going to use None here. 
The incremental mode is to delete old versions of content if the source document has changed, and full is the same as incremental. But if the source document has been deleted, it will be removed from the vector store as well. So we are going to use none here. There is no cleanup of the old content when you are uploading new content. So basically now I'm going to upsert the chunks and we can see that documents have been upserted. Now we can test retrieval. Let's test with the query artificial intelligence or something specific and fetch. You can see the retrieved documents here. Great. So we're going to save this configuration. Now, if you try to upsert again, you can see it says zero documents have been added and we have skipped eight different records here. We could also use another document loader to add different documents. I'm going to use Google Drive. So for Google Drive, we need to create a new credential. To create a new credential, you can see the instructions here. You'll need to go to your Google Cloud Console. So under your Google Cloud Console, navigate to APIs and Services. The first thing you have to do is to edit your OAuth consent screen. Under API and Services, go to OAuth consent screen and then deploy to production if it is in testing mode. Once you deploy to production, under APIs and Services, navigate back to your credentials and then click Create an OAuth 2.0 Client ID. For application type, select Web Application, and then you add your redirect URLs, which is the OAuth redirect URL from Flowwise, and then click Create. Once you create this, copy your client ID and client secret, paste them here, and save. Before saving, you have to authenticate, so select the particular account, then go Advanced, go to your application, and then click Continue. You can see that it has been authorized, so now you can refresh this and you'll see your files from your drive here. Now, select the files that you need from your Google Drive and click on them. Once you are done with this, you can go ahead to click Preview Chunks, and you see 20 out of 23 chunks, then we click Process. Now, under Options, select Upsert Chunks. We maintain the same configuration, but you can change the namespace if you want. I'll change it to Google Drive Documents. Now we click Upsert. You can see the documents have been added. I'm going to save this configuration. Go back to your document stores. Under the Google Drive File Loader options, select Preview and Process. Here you can maintain the same file if maybe you made a change to the file or add another document. And then click Preview Chunks, and you see we've updated the documents to 67 chunks. You just have to click Process when adding new documents. Under Options, select Upsert Chunks. Maintain the same configuration and select Upsert. So now we can see we have 44 more chunks added. We've added more items and skipped others, so the new items have been updated into our database. So this is basically how to set up your document store. Save the config, go back. Now the name is Artificial Intelligence. Here we can add the document store we just created. First, we save the agent flow as simple RAG agent and click Save. Now we refresh the page and we can see the option. Artificial Intelligence, select that option. Add a document description. This contains overview of artificial intelligence, including its definition, capabilities, applications, challenges, and future directions, serving as a valuable resource for researchers and industry professionals to understand and harness the potential of AI. Now let's test this. First, we save and then validate the flow. Then we type hello and hit enter and it responds. We see the response. Hello, how can I help you today? Next, we type, what are AI trends in 2025? We see the response. I'm sorry, but I don't have information about specific AI trends expected in 2025. The document provides a general overview of AI, its capabilities, applications, challenges, and future directions, but it does not go into detail about specific trends for that year. Now we try what is artificial intelligence? It didn't quite get the input. Now let's try that again. Okay, now we see the response from our document store. Artificial intelligence, AI, is a branch of computer science that focuses on making computers mimic human behavior to assist humans in various fields, etc. We have created a simple RAG chatbot that can intelligently answer questions using your own documents. We set up a vector database with Pinecone, configured embeddings with Cohere, and connected multiple data sources, from web scraping with SERP API to your personal Google Drive files. 
The beauty of this setup is that you can keep adding new documents and your agent will automatically incorporate that knowledge without losing any of the previous information. From here, you can expand this by adding more document loaders, experimenting with different embedding models, or even connecting multiple document stores to create specialized knowledge bases for different topics. I hope this tutorial was helpful in getting you started with RAG agents in Flowwise. If you found this useful, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI tutorials like this. Drop a comment below if you build something cool with this setup. I'd love to see what you create. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.